to be honest, like to me, demos are really fun to play. So even if they're not very good, so we've got the classic Bugs Life, All Star Tennis '99, Roll Cage. That's a pretty cool game. Music Data, which I don't think this is even a game. From I might load it up anyway, just for the sake of it. Soul Reaver, Warzone 2100. I've got 2100 war zones to flow. Drivo, I think. Yo, I'm not gonna bother with the videos. Uh, yeah, Driver's a video. And this, and that is obviously a video. <laughs> Super Bob, I gotta play that. And wait, is this a book? Is this a video? Uh, no, apparently this is playable. Um, Viva Football. Viva, some random twat who likes to hack accounts but not do it very well. Yeah. But anyway, let's let's play some uh, let's play some Viva Football. I don't remember this being very good, but then again, it's a football game on the PS One. What do you really expect? <laughs> you know, it's like expecting. I don't even know what it's like. It's like expecting a Chris Brown song to suck. It's just, you know it's going to. Like, why even bother questioning it? <laughs> oh, oh, I'm going to skip that. It's probably copyrighted. Because, <laughs> you know... Wait, why is, it, why is it just called Viva? Like, it said Viva Football on the menu. Okay, what the hell? Two play. Well, I haven't got a second control plugged in because okay, no one's gonna play an old outdated football game with me on the PS One. Okay, what the hell? Uh, sprint is all okay. Well, this controls kind of makes sense, so I'll give them that. Wait, you have to change play with triangle. What the hell? That's that's weird. But block. Ta I'm just looking at the defense ones because I don't think I'm even gonna get to play an attack. <laughs> okay, square is to shoot. I don't get why they don't just, you know, on these football demos, they, they don't just let you look up the controls and just, you know, press the button when you're ready to go. Jump challenge. Goalkeeper rush. <laughs> Punch opponent. Okay, why is the... Okay, why is the sound just coming from one speaker? What the hell's up with this? This isn't a mono game, this is PS1. <laughs> I don't get it. Wait, Argentina. Okay. I wasn't even paying attention to the teams. Wait, who am I playing as? Way! Ooh. In fact, it's kind of funny because it isn't England playing against Spain tonight. I mean, I'm not paying attention to it, but I'm pretty sure I've read that somewhere. So it's just England versus Argentina, I'm guessing. Yeah. England 1966. Someone tells me they're not going to be nearly as good as they were in the World Cup, considering that, you know, I'm controlling them. Uh, oh. Oh, you bugger. No, of course not. Uh, yeah, Groove Rider Slot Car Racing is a really cool game, by the way, if you haven't played it. Oh. No, and... Oh, wait, no. They didn't score. Nice. <laughs> 49 years of hurt, soon to be 50. <laughs> That's a great pass right there. Just, you know, slide it straight past the, you know, the player. You're the player that you're on the same team as. Okay. 49 years of it. It'd be kind of funny if they actually do re-record that song. They're getting, I'm pretty sure they already did that once. Where they just, you know, no more years of hurt. And then of course it turned out to be another 20 years at least. So good job there, Deal and Skinner. I noticed like the power on this is weird, because like the thing is, in, in, when you play like FIFA or whatever, um, like I'm no expert on football games, but I know that with games like FIFA, at least you don't really there's I don't think there's any like power button to pass. It's basically just you know you pass the ball, and that's it. <laughs> open wide, open your arse to get served by the Argentina squad. Yeah, typical England. <laughs> Uh, yeah, take the penalty then. Just do it. Wait, we really only 11 minutes in? What the hell? Yeah, well, it's already going well. <laughs> Yay! Okay, just let me go back to the game. I don't even care. 
I just want to see if I can just run up to their goal and just... Nope. Typical Argentines. <laughs> or whatever the word is. Uh, okay, how do I do a long pass? Is it circle, I think? Oh, wait, what the hell? No, this is golf. This is stupid. Okay, like... Maybe it's not stupid, but this is... This is not what I expect from football. I mean... I know this is like PS1, but still. Uh, oh, no, you don't. Okay, what the hell? I don't even know what happened. <laughs> so somehow that went out for a corner, even though... Uh, you know, I could show you how bad Sensible Soccer is on PS1. I, I could have sworn I did that before, though. I could have sworn I did that. But you just want me to keep, you know, doing it. Just because... Just because you hate me, I guess. Wait, what? Oh, pfft. So the demo just randomly ends. That's just... That's amazing. Just... Good job whoever programmed this demo. Okay. We're gonna let you play for like two minutes and then it just ends. Although, I, I suppose that's better than being made to play the whole match. Because that would just be painful. To be honest, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to just get some, like, water at this point. Because my throat's starting to go a bit... Eh. But okay. Uh, Bugs Life. Now, this is a game I do remember from back in the day, because I did have this game. In fact, I do have this game. <laughs> That's enough fun. No fun allowed on this demo. I could, yeah, I could have sworn I streamed Sensible Soccer at some point. Like, I think I did, like, a football stream at some point. I, like, I streamed that, and I streamed, like, uh... I remember streaming actual soccer and actually winning a game on that somehow. Okay, where's the sound on this? Okay, let's just skip all this. It's kind of funny that the Traveller's Tales, they made, um... Oh no, we're, we're not watching the trailer. That's just gonna get me sued. <laughs> but yeah. I was gonna say. It's kind of funny that Traveller's Tales made this, and then later the same year they made Toy Story 2, which is a really awesome game, if you haven't played it. Like, that game, I would honestly say you should go play it. Um... <clears throat> Like, on the PS1. I know there was a uh, Nintendo 64 version as well. Uh, Nintendo 64 version was apparently slightly worse because it was, like, didn't have the cutscenes because, you know, cartridges. Uh, I don't quite remember how this game works. Like, I remember so some of the basics, like, like this. Yeah. And I remember you could do handstand on this, but I don't remember what button it is. Just square. Oh, wait, oh, mate. Oh, yeah, I remember now. Yeah. You pick it up and then you press X. Oh, like, the thing that I remember from this mostly is just the fact that flicked. Like, he says something like every three seconds. Like, literally. Like, seriously, just listen to the game go by itself. He'll do it in a bit, I swear. Golden bears. Well, we've also got the uh, also got the nice Kong letters. Except now it spells flick. Wait, how do we use this again? Square. Okay. I don't remember what that does actually. If I'll be honest, I legitimately don't remember what this does. And it's kind of funny because it's been so long since I actually watched. Um, Okay, I'm going to leave that, because I think you use that to get power up later. Something like that. Oh yeah, you can also do a stomp thing. Wait, you have an Italian version of this game? What the hell? <clears throat> yeah, that would be useful. I don't even know what it is. It just looks like... It literally looks like a power up from Donkey Kong Country, actually. It's like they saw Donkey Kong 64 and just wanted to rip it off, pretty much. But, okay, maybe not quite, but you know. Okay, gotta watch out for the worms. I don't remember what this is, but I don't think you could do anything with it. I don't remember what you're supposed to do against this guy. I don't think you can even jump over him. I think it's just like, you have to go around him. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh no! We gotta go through it. Okay, why is the F here when, like, the L is early in the level? That's kind of weird, but, okay. So I'm gonna go up here. And this reminds me of Gladiators. 
and you have to climb this thing, but... Oh god, no! Git! Yeah, you could see the wasps in this game are just as annoying as they are in real life. Uh, no. Let me go up. Yes. I want to see if I can. I want to see if I can at least get all the uh, flick letters because I want to see what they do. I'm guessing they give you an extra life, like in Donkey Kong Country, but I die. Now I got the homing. I got the homing balls. I don't know what they're supposed to be, but uh. And someone tells me you can't jump over that fence because you know video games. Oh, you had an Italian Toy Story 2. I've got Toy Story 2 even on the PC, to be honest. Like, I thought it was just, like, a PS1 game. Actually, sorry, I'm just gonna... I could have sworn there was more to this game. Like, like you collect different power-ups that you can use on those giant seed things or whatever. Also, I remember the enemies respawn constantly, which is great. Because, you know, I totally love when games do that. You know, it's totally not annoying at all. Seriously, like, why do games insist on, like, having enemies respawn constantly? Like, it doesn't even make sense. Like, it doesn't make sense in Mega Man. It doesn't make sense in this game. It doesn't make sense in, like, every bad video game that's ever been made. Basically. I'm not saying that Mega Man is bad, but, you know. God, I don't remember the controls for this. I don't even know how you're supposed to get that berry, because... As you might have noticed, the camera is a little bit awkward. Again, this is Traveller's Tales. You know, that was kind of... That's kind of what they specialised in, was just awkward cameras that never actually quite worked. Seriously, how do you get that thing? I, I, I haven't got a clue. I thought I'm just going to go at the end of the level and just be done with it, because... <laughs> I'm going round in circles again. Now, what is the point of this thing? Because I don't think you can even climb up this. I think it's just, like, you would think that you can just use it to get to the other side of that, but it doesn't work because you can't actually jump high enough. So, like, kind of pointless, really. Yeah, it's gonna, yeah, it's leave a stain of that guy's corpse that you just shot. That's, yeah, good job, Flick. Hell. Oh, of course I have to go around the grass because, you know, you can't just, like, push down anything. I also like this, by the way. There's like this giant gap here, but I can't go through it. Jersey Devil. I, I need to play Jersey Devil some more. I remember that game being kind of weird, but yeah. Because I found a copy of that pretty cheap. Oh, okay, you can jump over the fence. That's, that is amazing technology. Who would have thought you could do that with a PS1? Okay, I remember this now. So you can click this. And then you can do this. See, look at this. I am so amazing, I turn that green. I'm the greatest gamer of all time. Except I don't know what the point of this is. I could have sworn you could have made this big app, but I'm not sure. Do I need to collect multiple of them to do that? Like, no idea. I get the feeling I'm just missing something with this, but, uh... I mean, it would help if the camera didn't suck. Like, if you could at least change the camera by, like, with, like, the right stick, like in most games nowadays, it wouldn't be so bad. But, like, I don't know. It's just, this game, it just, it feels off, the way the controls work. It's like, well, more so the camera than the controls, really. But it just, I don't know, it doesn't work quite, quite right for me. So I think... Is it good? Can I actually get up there if I turn this into a leaf instead? I doubt it, but let's see. See, so yeah, I just I just kind of like glide off it somehow. Because, you know, that's great. The games do that. And I can't even tell if I'm on the edge of the platform or not. Because it's like I have to get... This is so awkward. It's literally like I have to get a running leap. But you can't go very fast. So there we go. I finally did it. Um, now i got to do this. To get the token. I don't even remember what the other token does. I think it gives you like points or something. Let's see. So now the swing is taller. So now we can get the other thing. Whatever this does. So let's see. Whee! So, I swear to god, that reminds me of um 
What was it? That, that was with Mario 64. Yeah, when Mario jumps on those, like, whirling things and he spins in the air for some reason. So, yeah, I didn't get 100%, but then again, who... Like, who gives a toss about getting 100% in this game? Like, seriously. <laughs> yeah, nice sound effect. And this splat flick. <laughs> Coming soon. Flick's creepy face. Multiplies to... <laughs> Imagine if the, imagine if all those faces were just replaced with cheggers. That would be well, that would be interesting. Imagine if Flick was played by Keith Chegwin. <laughs> oh shoot! Do I have that power line? It's kind of funny. This this was one of the last demos to have that really cool like menu music that they had back in the like mid to late nineties. Like this this music is freaking amazing. Like seriously. I love it. Oh, great. All Star Tennis Night 9. No doubt this is going to be a classic. Because, you know, everyone loves that classic game, you know, All Star Tennis Night 9. It's the, it's the greatest. It's the greatest game of all time. You know, not, you know, not, uh, you know, what's it called? Anaconda Covid Smash called Tennis, not Virtual Tennis or whatever. No. All Star Tennis Night 9 is where it's at. I'm going to show you why. Because it's Ubisoft, and they've made so many great games, like Rayman, and Assassin's Creed, I, I think. <laughs> okay, what's the point of this? I can only select arcades, so... Great. Oh, please tell me this works with the analog controls. I do like the loading screens, though. They're quite pretty. It's just got, you got this nice flow with the tennis ball in the middle. So we've got Michael Chang, Leon Rhodes... Conchita Martinez. Jenna Nova. Nah. Uh, I also like how the names briefly turn white and then instantly turn grey. That's just real, real symbol of quality. I wonder if I, like, if I match the X button. No, I guess not. I mean, the models are in the game. Why can't you play as them? I mean, obviously, you know, ooh, it's a demo, so you can't play as them. But, you know. Um, Gustavo Quirton. Uh... Yeah, well, I guess I'm going to have to play as Mr. Chang. Michael Chang. That reminds me of that, um, what was the game called? Rad Racket on the on the NES. Which wasn't a very good game, but it was, at the same time, it was amazing. For the simple reason that you could... Oh, what the hell was it? It, it? The game was amazing because every now and then a rat would appear on the court, and if you hit the rat with the tennis ball, you would instantly win the round. And it was... I swear to God, I'm not making that up. You could actually do that in the game. That instantly makes it the best tennis game of all time. So, I'm the guy on the top, I'm pretty sure. Okay, is mixed tennis even a thing? I mean, I'm sure it is on, like, the lower levels, but I don't think it is here. And... Oh, shoot, I wasn't actually paying attention to the controls. This is going to go badly. Oh, wait, auto surf, nice. And, okay, this doesn't work with the analog control. That's great. Because, you know, I certainly don't want fluid controls of a tennis game, but, uh... Incidentally, I'm, I'm no pro when it comes to, like, tennis games or anything like that. And, okay, so I pressed the X button twice there. One time he, like, hit it, you know, really quickly. The other time he, he took, like, a lob. Um, I, I don't get it. it is it because I was holding down left or something? Like, I have no idea. It, it just feels kind of random as to what hit he does. Is kind of the problem. And I'm not saying this, you know, ooh, I'm just whining about the game. It feels like... <sighs> Like, you see, like, there, he took longer to hit there than he did before. It just... I, 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 to be honest, I really don't understand that. Like, I'm sure the other buttons do stuff, too. Like, okay, that's a lob, but... I can't get the timing down on these hits. It's like... It feels like if I'm right on where the... If I if I make to position myself where the ball is going to be, I'll hit it. If I don't, then he's going to take longer to try and hit the ball and then just miss. So there we go, I hit it, uh, pressing the circle button. Square button does that, so that's kind of like a side hit, I guess. Yeah. As you can tell, I'm, I don't know a whole lot about tennis, but I'm just trying to work this out as I play it. Uh, oh, saved. That was a nice little hit right there. Let me see if I can get right up the net. <laughs> okay, I guess not. That was my fault, to be fair. But, um... Okay, I'm starting to get the hang of this a little bit. Actually, who developed this game? 
<laughs> it's good for you. You mentioned Phoenix Games. It actually says Phoenix in the background of this game. And I, I don't get that, because they'll press circle when it hit instantly as well. So, I oh, don't know. I don't quite get this game. Um, maybe it's alright. Uh, or at least maybe it was alright at the time. Like I said, you know, there are games like Anaconda Cobra Smash called Tennis, which is a lot more arcadey. I'm not very good at that one either, but I kind of get the appeal of that one more, I suppose. But, um, you yeah, know, if you want to play like a proper like simulation, you could just play, uh, what was it, Virtual Tennis on the Dreamcast. Um, and even if you don't have a Dreamcast, just play the Virtual Tennis game on PS2. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to quit out of that, because there isn't really a whole lot to say. Um, I'm going to go get a drink, and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back, and here is everyone right now. Hope you're ready for some roll cage, because this game actually is quite good. I like this one. It's not as good as Roll Cage Stage 2, which is one of my favourite PS1 games. But it's still pretty good, uh, I think. It, like this was I think this was one of the last games that uh Psygnosis published before they got bought out by Sony. Yeah, you gotta reset the console because you know I love doing that. <laughs> Here we go, roll cage. Got the roll cage competition. And you can only play as this character because, well, it's competition, I suppose. I suppose, you know, if they let you pick all the characters, someone would probably find a cheap one of them and then win the contest that way. I wonder who did win this contest, by the way. Um, and yeah, like I said, this game is quite good. Like, legitimately. Um, it's basically just, it's a fast-paced racing game. The controls are a little bit awkward, I find, but... Aside from that, it, like this is, this really is a game that you should get on PS One. Uh, okay, as you can see, I'm already failing this. But okay, well, it's not okay because I'm already behind on this. Pretty sure if I wanted to win this competition, I wouldn't crash in the first place. Oh, uh, oh no, I went through them. Well, I already buggered this up. There's only one lap on this, by the way, so I suppose it's not that hard to, uh, you know, just keep trying to get faster time. Okay, just face the front. Yeah, thankfully there's a button to, like, correct where you're facing, at least, so at least they give you that. 37 seconds. Hey, what's up? How are you doing? <laughs> uh, my code is not good book. I'm sure that's a word in uh, Estonian. Anyway, I think that's it for the demo, because there are no other tracks or anything. Um, so I'm just going to reset. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to say this right now. If you have a PlayStation 1 and you don't have Roll Cage, then get Roll Cage. And especially get Roll Cage 2. Uh, sorry, Roll Cage Stage 2, because that, I'm going to say right now, is actually one of the best games on the PS1. Like, that was one of the games I played all the time as a kid, because it was just amazing. Um, but yeah, I'm alright. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I'm trying to think if I even got Roll Cage. I must have it, because I do remember, like, getting a copy with the, uh, I remember the, uh, the front cover of it was a bit tatty, sort of, but yeah. Actually, what other games are on this? Because I think, I think Soul Reaver is on this, and that's a really cool game. So yeah, Music Data, Soul Reaver, Warzone 21, okay, I think that's it. Now... Yo, I don't think Music Data was actually a game, but I'm just going to quickly look at this anyway, just to see what it is. I think this is for music on the PlayStation. Uh, music creation on the PlayStation, or whatever it is. The old Codemasters thing. Um, which, I, I used to have this back in the day. I, I'm not going to call it a game, because it really isn't. It's just, it's just a program where you make music. In fact, this is actually what got me into making my own music. Um, in fact, what's funny, I actually did, I actually made a song of my own recently. Uh, it was called some like, and the beat goes like this or something like that. Where it was basically just like me rapping, and I got this beat. It's got a lot of reverb on it because I'm like that. <laughs> I don't know how else to produce music and not have it sound like it was made on FL Studio in two minutes. Because I'm a beginner. Uh, to be honest, one of these days I really want to get a band camp and like release a full album. But, um,. Speaking about music on the PS1, like I said, I used to play this all the time. Um, I, I, could, I wasn't very good at it at the time because I didn't know all that much about, you know, musical concepts or whatever. Like, I, I knew how to do stuff in tune at least. So, you know, I'm already better than Raid. 
it's kind of funny, like, eight-year-old me can make better music than Raid. But let's see, we have we have the, all the classic songs like Dance Wave, Freedom 99, <laughs> Jab, uh, K9 Konkaz. So, like, is this like the... I'm trying to think, you're Konka uh, on the N64, which I've never actually played it. I remember it being ridiculously expensive, which is part of the reason I never played it. But yeah, Metallic, which is no doubt, you know, a crappy Metallica tribute band. Mr. Beat. <laughs> Fat Phoenix. So this is... So this is where Phoenix Games got got the music from for London Cab Challenge. This is the... This is no doubt is that song. But, uh... Rock Ed Science. Oh, sorry. Rock Ed Science. <laughs> Slicker. The Spell. <laughs> and With It. Which I'm sure is the sound a frog makes. But, uh... We've also got the classic... Player 5... <laughs> Billion, whatever. I'm not, yeah. You know, I'm not even gonna bother um, because it's just gonna be a bunch of songs. I, I'm really not gonna have anything to say about them. You, know, I'm sure there's plenty of songs that have been made with music that you can find on YouTube. In fact, I remember recently, well, not recently, but I remember a while back, I actually found a song on YouTube, which basically with Music 2000 on the PS1. I think it was the PS1 version. Someone actually made a remix of Beat It by Michael Jackson. Like, they made, like, a jungle remix, and it sounds amazing. Uh, I'm not going to play it just in case, you know, copyright issues, because, you know, Michael Jackson, but, you know. Now, Soul Reaver. I'm not going to need to look at the controls for this one, because I know what this game is. It's a really cool game. Um, although, if I remember correctly, this demo is ridiculously short. And I'm talking, like, two minutes short. So, thankfully, the controls work quite well in this demo. And this was such an advanced game for its time, like, seriously. Um, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot if, if you press on the D-pad right there, you... Sorry, D-pad. If you press upon the control stick, you go underwater. And I remember this. you got to crouch jump. Uh, which button is it to crouch again? I don't remember. Oh, is it really so? No, it's not so. Yeah, I was going to say. No... I don't want you to take in that. I could have sworn I remember the controls for this. I could have sworn... Oh, yeah, that's right. L1. I thought I was pressing R1. Never mind. <laughs> Songs for the deaf font. What? I have no idea what that is. I get the feeling I probably should know, but I just it's just not coming to me. And, okay, now I'm just being an idiot. <laughs> you can tell I haven't played this in a little while. So I'll come to terms with the... Uh, I keep doing this because I'm a doofus. So that's L1 the soap. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So I think it's X to use the... F yeah, here we go. So I'm just going to keep beating up this guy. I'm sure there's a way to like kill this guy quicker. I don't remember the exact uh, strategy then. Now I think you do this, but I'm not sure he's dead enough to actually do that. No. I think he goes to like a different animation because now he's just shuffling a bit along like an invalid. Come at me! Yeah. So I'm sure if you like press the buttons a certain way, they die quicker. So let's see if this works. Nope. I don't remember how you're supposed to do this. I'm sh I know there's a way to do this pretty quickly. I just can't remember the exact uh, tools right now. And there is no way to. L oh. Um, I accidentally selected the wrong thing. I didn't realize it was going to work on the menu. <laughs> <laughs> the controls that there. So I thought the menu would just work with the D-pad, but okay. I think it's just going to go back to the menu now, isn't it? But yeah, uh, but, oh, wait, no. I can start it again. Chance of redemption. <laughs> Actually, I should have just looked up the controls while I've said it, but... Okay. Yes, good job indeed. I am a genius. If by genius, you mean, you know, Idiot. <laughs> I have no idea what that means, but okay. 
So yeah. I always thought the crouch jump thing in this was kind of weird. Um, you know, I suppose it makes more sense than it does in Half-Life, where it's like you crouch jump to go into, like, vents or whatever. Oh, no, you don't. So I'm just going to keep mauling this guy because I'm a git. I'm not going to run off. Because, you know, I'm the Soul Reaver. I'm Raziel. Boo! Now, okay, uh, talking seriously for a second. Now, there was a game um, that this is a sequel to. The original Legacy of Kane game, I should point out, was actually a game called Blood Omen. Now, I'm going to say for the record, I've never played it. Uh, I don't have the game. I've heard people say it's good. Um, I remember it was this kind of, like, overhead, sort of, what, vaguely RPG-esque sort of thing. And I remember it being pretty cool uh, from what I've seen. But like I said, I I've never played it. So I'm just not sure. Like, I'm not sure if I would enjoy it personally, but it seems like the sort of thing I might be able to get into. Like, it reminds me a bit of Diablo, I suppose. Oh, yeah, I can... Yeah, you hold down square, that was it. <laughs> I just throw him off the edge, because he deserved it. And I think I know what to do here. You crouch jump... You do this. So this was Crystal Dynamics before they started making the Tomb Raider games. You can kind of get the... Oh, I'm walking to the wall. But yeah, you can kind of feel, you know... Like, if you play the Tomb Raider games on PS2, like, Tomb Raider Legend, like, I played the demo for that. And I played Tomb Raider... Was it Tomb Raider Legacy? or I can't remember what it was called. You know, the, the one that was a remake of the first one. Um... You know, there's definitely be a feel of that with this game, I think. Maybe that's just me, but um, just kind of in, in how it plays to an extent. So now I have this. Oh god! Well, I buggered that up. So now I'm gonna have to go back, I think. Yeah, Two Raider Anniversary. That's the one. I can't remember the name off the top of my head because it's like there's been so many Tomb Raiders. It's well, or at least there were. So many Tomb Raider games being produced, and I keep forgetting that he takes like two steps forward. But I just want to finish the demo. It's not even that long, but I'm making it lo much longer than it needs to be. <laughs> like I swear to God, I've played this before and literally beaten it in like two minutes. They were taking me like ten just to, cause, just because I keep messing up. But okay, because I know there's an enemy on the other side of the platform that I was supposed to go to before I walked off the edge. You know, walk off the earth at this rate. But, uh... But yeah, you notice whenever, like... The slightest tap on the, uh... On the control stick... Uh, he'll move, like, two steps. And that's kind of what throws me off. Because I always expect him to take one step. So, you know. It's just one of those things you kind of have to get used to with this game. I mean, aside from that, the game actually controls really well, actually. Partly because the game actually makes use of the control sticks. At least the left one. Um, the right one I don't think actually does anything. At least it doesn't in this demo. It might control the camera in the full game. I'm not sure. But here we go. Let's finish off this other guy. Because now I've got the, uh, scepter or whatever. Now I might be able to finish this guy a lot easier off than the other one. You know what I'm saying. To be honest, I'm, I'm tempted to just keep playing these demos all night. I'm just, I'm, I'm not sure though. Like, should I, like, should I play another demo after this, or should I play Sensible Soccer on the PS1, just so you can see how bad that is? I sure could chop this guy in half and then take his spirit, but I'm, I'm not sure if they even work in the demo, to be honest. The circle button doesn't do that. The triangle doesn't do anything, so... But I'm sure, like, in the full game, you could, you could like, chop them in half and stuff. Unless maybe I'm getting confused with Nightmare Creatures, I'm not sure. Yeah, sorry, I'm just going to throw him off the edge. Oh, wait, there we go. Yeah, that's right. You, you hold down square and it, he does that. Cause I, yeah, because I knew you could do that in this game. I just uh, couldn't remember it offhand. So here we go. We go over here and that's it. <laughs> Seal it. <laughs> to be honest, if it, you know, I'm, I'm going I'm to have to do this right now. I'm going to have to look up what the word Seal it actually means. So if you don't mind, I'm actually going to Google Translate... Uh, 
as you can see, I've got this nice, yeah, happy birthday, JP, even though you can't see that on the stream for some reason, but, uh, I'm gonna Google Translate. I wanna see what the hell Sillet actually means. Sillet translates to... Sillet. Just amazing. Yeah, as you can see, I've spelt it correctly, Sillet. Okay, that, that's a good question. What the hell does Sillet actually mean? Whatever. Uh, let's play Warzone 2100. I don't remember... Actually, I, I do kind of remember this game vaguely. I think this is like a... Like a real-time strategy game, I think. But I'm not too familiar with it. Um, I think... Did Psygnosis make this? I don't remember. I don't think I've played this game since I was like seven years old. Possibly even six years old. Pumpkin Studios. Oh, what the hell's that pumpkin's name? That, that one that you see on the internet and is kind of annoying. You know, give me meal. Or whatever he says, I don't remember. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Oidos, that was it. Oh, here we go. 2100. <laughs> I wonder if anyone is actually going to play this game in the year 2100. Oh, well, we've got the nice red dwarf sound effect right there. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, I want to see. No, why, why is there no thing to look at the controls? Okay, this is going to go well. Uh, actually, I should probably center the screen a little bit. Because this seems to be a little bit too far to the right. Okay. Hi, Barry Scott here, asking whether you have problems with limescale, rust, ground in dirt. <laughs> They're a challenge for some household cleaners, but not for Sillet Bank. The incredible cleaning sensation. What the hell am I quoting that up at? You love that one, Barry! Barry! Oh, yeah, I remember this now. Yeah, this is like real time strategy, sort of thing. So we've got the hammer, uh, wait, what the hell? Drive the truck to the- oh, oh so I'm gonna get these trucks over to this thing, and they build stuff, I guess. Is this weird? Uh, okay. Oh, I see. So I'll go over here, and then this happens. <laughs> oh god. I, I remember the really old YouTube poops I made, actually. Just remembering Barry Scott. I remember there was one that I made, it was like, you know, <laughs> commercial explosion with, with chicken tonight. And then like, chewing gum. Well, was, I swear to god there was literally one where I just like, made fun of a chewing gum at birth that no one remembers. But you got this like, I'm not even sure if it's like stereotypical guy. <laughs> Why are you getting pictures of Silic Bang? Truck Viper wheels. Okay, wh wh okay where's the crack at? Where the coward's at, too. Uh, okay, what is this? Oil derrick. Oh, I forgot to build the factory. Oh, is this like... Is this like Constructor? Because if you ever played Constructor, it was... Um, it, it was actually an RTS on the PS1 that kind of was like a combination of um, SimCity and I think Syndicate? I don't quite remember. But it's a game I have on the PS1. It's actually my brother's game. In fact, I remember he actually, he still plays it, weirdly enough. Even though, you know, it's an RTS on the PS1. Although, saying that, I did play it myself a year or two ago. Yeah, the, the Chicken Tonight one was the first one I did. In fact, I, I think I even have it uploaded on my um, my YouTube poop channel, actually. So I'm just waiting right here, waiting for this factory to build. Doesn't seem to be any way to speed this up. Oh, wait, is that it? I thought the, bo the bottom was the... Uh, how far complete it was, but okay. Design a new vehicle. Let's do it. Vehicle turret. Let's do it. I need those turrets. Well, it's obviously this at least has a tutorial, because I guess they knew that no one was going to, you know, know how to play this game immediately. So at least... That's the problem with most of the demos on these PS1 discs, is just the fact that uh, they don't give you any advice on what to do. It's basically just, you know, they throw you right into the firing pan. Or, you know, frying pan, should I say. 
So, I've got to do all this. I don't really know what this is all about. Machine gun viper wheels. Um, yeah, okay, let's just quit. Because oh, I have no idea what I'm doing there, but... Manufacture. De-manufacture. <laughs> uh, okay, what is this? Is this where the units are going to come out, I suppose? Oh, wait, no, it just instantly spawns them. That's weird. Uh, press the X above the factory icon. How do I bring up the menu again? Circle. Okay. So which one is factory? Unless maybe I'm on the wrong menu. Is this factory? I'm not sure. Maybe I'm just supposed to go to the factory and then... No, it doesn't do anything. Uh, Pressing square just brings up that health bar for some reason. I don't know what that's about. This feels like they tried to do, like, a 3D version of Command & Conquer. Sort of. I'm sure there have been plenty of games coming since then that have tried to do this sort of thing too. But, you know. Research updates. So, I'm, see, I, I, where is the factory? I've got, it's, I've got to be missing something really obvious, surely. Maybe it's this thing over here. Actually, no, that's, that looks like a helipad. Except it... No, it's it says LZ. Whatever that means. The Les... Zeus... Yeah, this is... This is the army of Les Zenis. Host of Zamli Zortunes. So, what am I supposed to do at this point? It says... It says press X above the factory icon, but I have no idea. Uh, the first video uploaded, I... Don't quite remember. I think it would have been an Action 52 review. That was so bad that I literally deleted it after a couple of days and just forgot it even existed, pretty much. Or wanted to forget it even existed. Maybe I'm supposed to go into manufacture, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay, I, I see. The square button decreased the number. Okay. The X button increases. Okay, let's do that then. So let's build six vehicles, as it says on the top. I want to at least do the... I have no idea how long this tutorial is. Let's see. Uh, delivery plant? Okay. Move the delivery plant. Uh, okay. Let's put it over here then, I guess. I don't want to put it over that hole in case that kills them. But Wait, I'm, I'm doing the exact same thing I did before. Research. Okay, that's the green thing. Okay, so let's research. Is it the question mark, I guess? Yeah, Cheaterman92. Now you know where I got my username from. As if you couldn't have guessed already. Uh, okay, what is this? Okay, there was no message, so I don't know what that's about. It says research update, but I have no idea what that means. In context. Uh, Batman view. Uh... Wait, I can use... The, oh, you can actually use the uh, analog stick for this game. I did not think that was possible. That's actually pretty cool. If there's one thing I love, it's when games do actually like, use the uh, analog stick. And I suppose I can't see over there. Uh, comet units. Well, I suppose that's going to be the six things that I'm building. See, I'm not completely... <laughs> I'm not completely stupid. Uh, okay. That's about my view. Oh, God. No! Defend the base. How do I select all these things? Because I have six of them, but... Oh, okay, I guess the rest of them are just going to follow me anyway. I'm gonna wait for them. Okay. Uh... Oh, yes, on groups. Yeah, I remember, um... <laughs> In fact, I remember that's something that Constructor had, where you'd have groups of, like, mobsters and such. Or, you know, undesirables, I guess. At least I think you could group undesirables. I don't quite remember. Or, or I think it was mostly just um, the workers that you had just build random crap. Well, this is easy so far, but again, it is a tutorial. I would, I would kind of hope it is. So I feel, I feel like I'm getting stuck on the terrain, even though I'm not. It just, I think it's just how slow the. Uh, it feels like. Uh, also, I feel like I probably should have brought six of my turrets over here, but I guess not. Uh, wait, what, what is it telling me to get the order ready call when I'm in the middle of a battle? 
Good job. Thank God the other... Thank God the other tanks control themselves. I'd probably be buggered if not for that. I mean, I'm pretty sure this one's almost dead anyway. Uh, wait, drive view? Oh God, no, I don't want to do that. Wait, no, I don't want to control these either. What the hell? I want to control the one I was just controlled on. What if I lost control of the other one? Did it blow up, I guess? Yeah, I guess I, I guess I will control the ones over here then, because at least he's haven't blown up. Okay, so let's go up here. Uh, oh, wait, you can actually... Oh, wow, all three actually works in this game. This is... This must have been, like, literally the only game that actually used the L3 and R3. Like, literally the first game I remember actually using those buttons for was, like, GTA San Andreas. You know, that game that came out in, like, 2004. Long, you know, by the time the PS2 was dead, pretty much. Uh, okay. Actually, am I, am I ever tanks dead yet? I'm not sure. I mean, I might, qu I might quit playing this pretty soon, but, um... Let me go up here. Because I think I know what to do. No! Okay. Oh, I, th I think pressing X lets the other tanks jump a group, I suppose. Okay, I don't want to do... No, I don't want to do that. Oh, wait, did it fire automatically? Okay, so I'm literally just moving the tank. It actually attacks on its own. Okay, I did not realize that. I thought... I actually thought you held the next one to fire, but I suppose not. Oh god. Well, I just blew up that base. Wait, is that it? Okay, I guess that was it. That I beat the demo. Um, even though it said some like fast play on the menu, I'm sure. So I'm guessing if I played this again, I could play like a proper mission, but I I'm not going to bother, because... <clears throat> yeah, the PS2 did kind of peak around like 2005, I think. And I'm saying 2005, because that's when the Xbox 360 was released. You know, that was kind of the point when the next generation was coming in. Uh, as in 7th generation, you know. <clears throat> oh, is this going back to the menu? Okay, that's kind of cool, because... Okay. Well, I'm not going to do the fast play anyway, but I suppose that's kind of cool. They don't just boot you back to the title menu thing. Uh, as in the power line, of course. <clears throat> but okay. So here we go, Warzone 2100. Uh, then we go all these videos, which I'm not going to do because they're videos, I really don't care. But I do care about this. The classic Super Bob. <clears throat> I think after I've, I think once I'm done with this, I'm gonna play Sensible Soccer. Just <laughs> just so uh Lavish and Moot can see just how bad that game is. I mean it's just that game is amazing. But speaking of amazing, here's Super Bob, and if you ever played a game called Poyu Poyu, yeah, you'll be right at home with this one. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Boo Boo the Pig, Grizz the Lion, Chump the Evil Thing, and Casper the Ghost, or Jasper the Ghost. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of confused there for a second, but okay. Let's start. Well, I'll go with the Lion, because why not? You know, aligned with Mauler Pig. Okay. But yeah, this this game is actually pretty awesome. Okay, I'm gonna set up for the record. Uh, okay. Oh shoot, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> this is already going badly. But okay, I've got an idea. See, look at this combo. Uh, shoot, I'm gonna eat yellow or green ones. <laughs> well, no, I do. But, okay, I wasn't actually expecting that. I wasn't even paying attention, but, okay. Like I said, this is... If you like demos, like, just at all, you need to get this game. Because it's amazing. Uh, shoot. Will this work? No, it won't. No, I can't get any combos because I'm, <laughs> I'm playing rubbish. Uh, I need a red thing, but it's not giving me one, so that's great. But I'll just sell this then. 
As long as I can just own the computer for a bit, then I should be okay. Uh, I think can do that. But I will do this. Two chains! If anyone remembers that guy, <laughs> just friggin', you know, highly respected but Michael Jackson. It's, it's like, how can anyone be that bad as a rapper? Like, like I've rapped before, and I'm pretty certain I can rap better than him. <laughs> just, just how? Like, how does a guy that untalented get a career? Like, seriously. Oh yeah, Kanye West. There's your answer. Uh, oh shoot. Yeah, I'll just do this. I don't really care. Uh, yeah. Oh wait, no, I've got the colour thing now. Um, green! Okay, I probably shouldn't have done that. Oh, you bastard. One. Yeah, I'm buggered now, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, look at that, 46. Yeah, I've lost. See, this is the problem, like, sometimes the co Sometimes the AI just gets these ridiculous combos out of nowhere, and other times they just don't. It's weird. But the AI is just kind of random in terms of how good they are. Like, what am I even supposed to do here? There, like, there is no... Like, I'm supposed to get a green one to have any chance of, like, winning at this point. The game just isn't giving me that, though. So it's like... You know, so what do I even do at this point? Like, I'm... Oh, wait, here we go. Recovery time. Hopefully. Yeah! Okay, that wasn't quite as good as I was hoping, but, uh... Yep, I lost. 